Welcome to another video. Recently, I covered how you can use Gemini to create applications with just one prompt using Maestro. In that video, I mainly focused on Gemini 1.5 Flash because it's cheaper and is one of the best performing models on the leaderboard. It can do almost everything you need without costing a lot. It may not be state of the art, but it's only 10 to 20% below the flagship models while being three times cheaper. So, overall, in cost to performance, it's really the king, like me. I tried it out in that video where I created multiple applications with it, and it works extremely well in coding. It even outperformed Sonnet in some of my tests. That's why I asked you if you wanted me to make a video using it as a co-pilot, and many of you said yes. So today, I'll be trying both the Gemini 1.5 Flash and Pro as my co-pilot to see if they can perform any better than GitHub's co-pilot. Obviously, it will outperform GitHub's co-pilot because it still uses the Codex model based on GPT-3, which is really bad. They charge you $10 for that extremely poor model, and they also use your code to train their models. I don't understand why anyone would pay for it. Anyway, to make the co-pilot, we'll need a VS Code extension, and for that, I'll be using the Continue Dev extension because it has all the features we want, like a chat interface, auto-completion, and importantly, Gemini support. So, we can easily configure it with Gemini. Also, it's open source, which is pretty cool. I'll be trying it out with both Gemini 1.5 Flash and Pro. The Flash model has a 1 million token context window, while the Pro model has a 2 million token context window. This means you can use it with your entire code base if you want. The pricing for Gemini 1.5 Flash is only 35 cents per million tokens for input when your context is below 128k tokens. And if it's above 128k tokens, it rises to 70 cents. The output price is also cheaper at $1.05 and $2.10, respectively. However, the Pro model has much higher costs, but I'll recommend using the Flash model as it is very similar to the Pro model while being almost eight times lower in cost. Also, you can use the free tier of the models because Google provides a very generous free tier. I'll also show you how to set it up with a local model for auto-completion. This way, you only use the Flash or Pro model for the chat interface while using a local smaller model for auto-completion. I'll also show you how to set up a shell GPT similar to what GitHub Copilot provides so you can have all the features that GitHub Copilot has. Anyway, let's get started. First, let's get shell GPT installed. To do that, run the pip install shell GPT command. Once you run it, shell GPT will get installed. Next, run the pip install light LLM command. This is needed to make sgpt work with Gemini. After that's installed, run the sgpt command. You'll be asked for the API key. Just enter your Gemini API key that you can get from Google AI Studio. After you enter it, you'll see an error. Don't worry. Just open the sgpt config file. In there, turn on the use light LLM variable. Then, change the model name like this Gemini slash and flash. Enter it like this and save it. Now, you can start using the sgpt command, and it should work just like the GitHub Copilot shell suggestion feature. If you want to generate shell commands directly with it, you can use the shell operator. For more information on its functions, check out my shell gpt video. Now that shell gpt is fully configured, let's set up our VS Code extension. First, go to your VS Code. Then, go to the Extensions tab. Search for Continue Dev and install the Continue Dev extension. Once done, you'll see it in the sidebar. Open it and select the API key option. 
Then, select the Gemini option. Now, you can select the model you want to use. I'll select the flash model here. Once selected, enter your API key. Click the Add Model option and then click Done. Once done, you can see this chat interface. At the bottom, make sure that the model you want to use is selected. Now, you can send a message and see if it works. OK, it's working. Continue Dev has multiple features. You can add your code context to the chat via these options or by selecting the code you want to use in the file and adding it from the submenu or shortcut. Also, if you generate some code directly in the chat, you can use the Insert at Cursor option to directly put the code wherever your cursor is. You can also generate code directly in the file without using the chat interface by using the Control plus I shortcut. It's pretty cool. So, you can use the Pro or Flash model in the chat and for code generation like this. But if you also want to use it for auto-completion, click the Settings button at the bottom and this file will open. In the Auto-Complete block, change the provider to Gemini and model to Flash or Pro. Also, add your API key. Once done, save it. Now, the Auto-Complete should start working. However, I don't recommend this. Auto-completion has too much context and is called every second, making it expensive and slow. Instead, the Continue Dev extension recommends using a smaller model for auto-completion, and I agree. For that, I'll recommend the DeepSeq Coder 1.3b model. It's small and works on almost all computers, even without a GPU. To get it installed, go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and install it. Once done, go to the models page, search for DeepSeq, select the DeepSeq coder model, and select the 1.3b variant. Copy the command and paste it into your terminal. This will install the DeepSeq model. Once installed, you'll see the chat interface. Send a message and check if it works. Then, open the continue dev config file, change the model provider to Olama, and the model to DeepSeq Coder 1.3b, and remove the API key part. Once done, save it. Now, the autocomplete should start working. It's pretty cool and works really well. I recommend using it like this. For autocompletion, the DeepSeq model works better, and for bigger tasks, where you need to generate whole blocks of code or fix something, use the Gemini Flash or Pro model. I tried the Pro model, and it was very similar to the Flash model in these tasks. So, I'll recommend using the Flash model. You can use it almost for free if you use it efficiently. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.